Well, the last video got two likes, so here we are. Today, we're gonna be opening up not one, but two Evolving Skies ETBs. These ETBs are from Walmart, and they have been popping up here and there, and they've been sitting in my display case up top there for a couple months, and apparently these things are stacked. And another reason for opening these guys is because their condition really isn't the greatest. Um, one of them's got a complete rip in the back, and you know what, I figured might as well try and see if we can pull a Moonbreon here. And really it's more for a science experiment. See if you guys have these ETBs, should you open them in the year 2023 if they're being restocked? Uh, because whether these are first print run or not, I'm not sure. Hopefully they are, uh, might help our chances of pulling something good, but without further ado, let's get right into today's video. Yeah, here's here's this guy. Uh, this guy's got a pretty gnarly tear right here in the back, so that's that's one reason. And uh, this guy, I mean, this guy's not too bad really. But we're gonna open these up, and I know you guys have seen this set open a billion times, so I am just gonna get right to the pack opening and save you guys from looking at all the contents because it's just the same. Like nothing's different. There's no ETB promos to look at. It's all just. All just the same stuff. I have probably 10 of these boxes somewhere and uh, we just want the packs. Whatever. There's a code card. Take it or leave it. It's up to you. All right, folks, here we go. Half a booster box of Evolving Skies in 2023. Let's take a gander and see. Oh, oh they are reprint. So these are officially reprinted packs because they have the new code card. So we're gonna go four from the back to the front. And I think I saw a little something something in this pack. Not sure if it's an alt, not sure if it's a full art. Could be a VMAX, I don't really know. But we do have something of value, hopefully, in this pack. Let's see what we got. Come on, Evolving Skies, treat us well. Reverse rare. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, bro. First pack, are you serious? What? What? First pack. And this has been sitting on my shelf for how long? Excuse me. Uh, centering is not the greatest, but oh my gosh, guys. Look at this. It's an Umbreon V. It's not the VMAX. Literally not the VMAX. Why? Why do they have to literally tease us? This is the third time I've pulled this card in my entire life because Evolving Skies loves to play games. Uh, which, which side did I open from? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight packs? Yeah, eight packs on ETB. Guys, what the heck? Alternate art first pack. I mean, you yeah, you can't beat that. You really can't beat that. And since these are new codes, the white code, the white border codes, uh, don't have a pull, so we just gonna we just gonna keep on keeping on. See what the code cards have in store for us. Guys, we have another we have another hit in this pack. Um if it's another alternate art, I'm gonna freak out. We're, we we pretty much just made our money back with what I paid for these guys uh, whenever they were on the shelf, because I got them, I think, $40 each back when they got stocked a few months ago. Glad I grabbed one of each, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, here we go. Pack number four or something. Hey, Rayquaza VMAX, another off-center boy, but we'll take it because it is Rayquaza. Love to see a Rayquaza appearance. Guys, get your Evolving Skies ETBs and start cracking them because these are kind of loaded. Uh, at least from my experience, we just pulled another Umbreon V alternate art. Like, what? That's wild. I'm still in shock and I'm not going to stop talking about it until we hit something else bigger because it's been on my shelf for months sitting on my shelf. Fine, we got it now, it's in our hands. And that's why I can't have a sealed collection unless I don't have all of the cards in the set. Because a lot of those packs back there, I have most of the cards I want, so I don't really need to rip the packs. Uh, however, Evolving Skies, you can pull an alternate art like Umbreon B, and it's, it's worth a lot of money at that point, and you can use it for 
other other aspects and other cards that you want so etb number one has delivered at least a pull that i can say i'm happy about <laughs> uh let's see what we got in this pack another hollow so pull rate wise it's looking pretty good we got four out of eight so far with this last pack probably not having anything but you never know there's a lot of rainbows in the set too that could be pulled and v cards and v maxes let's see okay non-hollow so four for eight on the polls i can't, can't complain let's go to etb number two see if we just got a stacked etb or if these are actually stacked because they they may they might be um actually stacked with alternate arts i'm not sure though i'm not sure i don't know i'm really excited oh my gosh all right here we go Hopefully you guys are sitting in your seats because uh, if I was standing, I probably would have passed out. Okay, here we go. Pikachu, Scraggy. Hey, let's go. Glaceon V Full Art. Nice. Nice. Very nice. I think I think I have that in the binder already. I'm not sure. I really don't know. I, I'm not sure. There's a possibility that it's in there already, but I think the one I have is really off center. I think I got it from a local card shop back when the Evolving Skies cards were readily available, unlike today. Unless you catch a restock for the ETBs. Uh, let's see. All right, pack number two of EP ETB number two. Regular rare. I'm fine. I'm fine. We could pull, like, if we pulled Leafeon VMAX or any other VMAX alt, like, even if it's the Duraludon that I still need for the set, I'm, I'm happy. Let's see. Regular rare. Regular rare. We want Umbreon though. I've opened so many of these packs, you think I would hit Umbreon. And not the V. I want the V Max. Umbreon V, I've pulled three times now. Out of booster boxes, single packs, and or ETBs. And I should have I could have taken the two and sold them and probably put it towards the one V Max that I need. All right, let's see what we got. Reverse Psyduck and Leafeon V. Very nice, very nice, very nice. So if we get where, if the pull rates are what they are from the first box, we should have two more hits in this next four packs. And if that's the case, I think these are definitely a product that you want to pick up and rip. Rip it open, rip it all. I don't, I don't know, man. This, I think, I think they're, I think they're kind of loaded. Got these from Walmart. A um, couple months back. That's all I can say, really. I don't really know much more. Don't know much more else about them. And okay. Nothing in that pack. So, pull rate wise, we should have two hits in this pack, these last two packs. If not, then uh, we got a really lucky ETV, that's for sure. Let's see. Come on. Bring us home something. Bring us home something. Oh, Hollo. Not bad. Last pack magic then, folks. Last pack magic. We should have something in this pack if the pull rates are holding up to what they say they are. The, the, what, is, what it was in the last ETB. Come on. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Another hollow. But. I mean, pull rates are pretty good. 50%. You really can't get that in any other set, honestly. Um, here's the big hitters of the video. Smash like, subscribe, and uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Peace.